We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. Because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come out here and talk about this whole Fabulous and Emily B situation. So if you guys don't know, I've been following up with this all week. I didn't want to make a video right away. I want to see how everything played out. And right now, Emily B, Fabulous, they are all trending right now on social media. The whole situation is insane. Let me kind of break down everything to you guys that's going on, okay? So what initially happened is that on Thursday, it was leaked that Fabulous was arrested for assaulting Emily B. So, you know, a lot of us didn't know what was going on. It's like, dang, you you know what you know what's up with fabulous he seems like such a cool dude even though he's a damn serial cheater so what happened is that basically this past thursday it was leaked to the media that fabulous was arrested for assaulting emily b and that he was facing felony criminal charges for assault and threats a well, rapper fabulous surrendered to police in new jersey for allegedly assaulting his girlfriend the rapper whose real name is john david jackson turned himself into inglewood police last night he is facing felony charges of assault and making terroristic threats Police arrested the rapper for allegedly assaulting uh, love and hip hop star Emily B. The two have two children together, a 10 and two year old son. So this entire situation was crazy. Fabulous ended up going to Instagram Live and he posted the following on Instagram Live. So on Instagram Live, he posted 2018 trying to break my heart. So he posted that and you know, people thought it was just something simple. It wasn't really a big deal. You know, him and Emily just probably going through the motions. Well then on Friday, the affidavit leaked online and we got to see a detailed account of what Fabulous did to Emily and people were just shocked on social media. I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys the affidavit right now. So the court documents say that on March 7th, while Jackson was in Los Angeles on a business trip, he became enraged when he found out via Instagram that the victim was also in Los Angeles. According to the affidavit of probable cause, while on a flight back from Los Angeles, the victim told the police that Jackson, age 40, said via text that he wanted to hit her in the head with a baseball bat and that he would kill her, but he didn't want to go out like that. The victim told police that she was scared because of the March 7th incident. The victim was later punched by Jackson seven times in the face, causing severe damage to her two front teeth. She ended up losing her two front teeth, according to the court documents. Because of that incident, the victim called her father to remove two handguns from the residence due to fear that they may be used against her. According to the affidavit, when Jackson arrived at their Kenwood Street residence, he confronted the victim, her brother, and the father, but then went upstairs of the residence looking for the handguns, which had been removed. When he could not locate the guns, the defendant left the house, but not before informing the victim, her father, and her brother that he had a bullet for them, according to the court documents. Lord, all I can do is shake my head at this entire situation, okay? So now, if that's not crazy enough, since then, Fabulous has just been posting pictures on tour and, you know, doing concerts. Like, you know, nothing happened. It was no big deal. You know, just trying to ignore it. Emily B made her Instagram page private. Um, They said she deleted a lot of the pictures with her and Fabulous. But one thing I've always noticed about their relationship that's always disturbed me is just how disrespectful he treated her. A lot of us didn't even know that Emily B existed until she was one of the first cast members on Love & Hip Hop. We had no idea that she existed. We had no idea that Fabulous had any kids. Kids. I mean, he has always kept her a secret. And even when you go to his Instagram page, you rarely see pictures of him and Emily B. If there are pictures, it's usually like a family picture with like all the kids in Emily B. You never see too many pictures of just Fabulous and Emily B. And she always looks really hurt and upset. They just don't look happy. You know, they look like they're trying to make something work that should not be working at all, that they should have just let this go. But I think the saddest part of this situation is that I see more chemistry with Fabulous and Grandma Bernice Burgos and Simone than I've ever seen with Emily B. And I think it's really sad that Emily is sitting here chasing this man all over the country. This man who clearly does not want her. This man who has cheated on her multiple times. And now this man is beating her. And it's really sad that she's tried so long to try to make this work. But she needs to let this go. Because I'm really scared for this woman's life at this point in time. If you guys do not know, about 30 minutes ago, new video just leaked onto social media. TMZ posted it. And in this video, you can see Fabulous basically threatening Emily. He's lunging at her. He's saying that he has a bullet for the father and the brother. Basically, everything that was in that affidavit that I just read to you guys is right now on video. And this entire situation is so disturbing. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video really quick. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Hey, 
So you guys just saw that disturbing video and it's really sad and people are trying to say that Emily cheated on Fabulous because he said why do you have him here some of y'all are just slow and messy as hell okay when he's saying why did you bring him to my home he's not talking about Emily B cheating on him why the hell would she bring a man to Fabulous's home okay to go cheat on him come on now what he's saying is he's talking about Emily B's father because when he says why did you bring him to my home she then says that's my dad and you could just hear like you know the, the fear in her voice and and then the dad starts yelling, that's my fucking daughter, you fucking coward. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what the fuck you have him at my house for. Sure. Yeah. That's my motherfucking daughter. And then that's when he starts popping off on them. And you can see his bodyguard trying to hold him back. Fabulous is crazy as fuck, okay? It was so crazy to see him like that because for the most part, he carries himself as this really calm, you know, demure guy, you know, just, you know, he's kicking it. He's just trying to be a father to his kids. He always has disrespected Emily as far as, you know, cheating on her and not claiming her, but I would have never thought it was that bad. And you can tell the way she was running and screaming. That's not the first time that he's done that to her. And, you know, I want to say this to Emily and women like Emily. This man has been disrespecting her for years. He's cheated on her for years. He rarely if ever claims her. You barely see the two of them together. She's had not one but two babies with them, thinking that, that was going to change something. She done chased him all the way to L.A., you know, probably because she felt he was out there cheating on her. And in return, he ends up punching her face seven times and knocking out her two front teeth. On top of that, sitting here threatening to kill her. This is the mother of his children and threatening to kill, you know, the father and the brother, which means these are his children's uncle and grandfather. If this man could do all of this in front of a camera, imagine how he treats that woman behind the scenes in their home. You know, this is why a lot of women need to wake up. A lot of women think that, you know, well, I'm living in this big house. I have this fabulous lifestyle. I can be on Instagram flexing and all this stuff. That's why I tell y'all all the time, do not look at anybody's relationship and say relationship goals because you never know what's going on behind closed doors. While we're looking at Fabulous as a great rapper, he's a millionaire. You know, Emily B, you know, she's a stylist. You know, she has her millionaire rapper, you know, boyfriend, baby daddy, whatever. Look how this man is treating her. Look how this man is treating her father. Look how this man is treating her brother. Thank God they got there to get them guns out of the household. Because if not, we could have been reporting on a potential murder. As angry as that man is, I have no doubt that he would have hurt Emily B or possibly killed that entire family. You know, this entire situation is sad. If you find yourself in a situation like this, ladies, get out okay get out no red bottoms no handbags no home no fame is worth your life okay it's not worth your life to be in a casket casket sharp because you want to live that lifestyle because you want to protect your rapper boyfriend you know what is this showing her daughter she has a young impressionable daughter that sees all of this what is this showing her daughter emily b needs to not return back to fabulous and i hope she finds the strength within herself to not return because sadly he's put her through a lot and she's always gone back to him hopefully when she sees herself on camera and she sees how this is going viral and people are talking about this hopefully it wakes emily b up and she stays away from this situation the fact that this man punched out her two front teeth that alone is disturbing but to watch that video play by play that was just really sad it really really was and the fact that you have people out here still trying to defend fabulous and saying oh well he makes good music or you know she probably cheated on him why would he be that mad stop with the excuses and stop defending fuckery okay fabulous is not cutting you a check at the end of the day you know, people kept saying, well, I want to wait for more information to come out. This might be a lie. They're just trying to set up the black man and all this other stuff. Okay, now y'all have video evidence of his behavior. Everything I read in that affidavit literally was a play-by-play -play in that video. And people are still excusing it. People are still saying, well, what did she do wrong? What did she do? 
I don't care if she was cheating on him because let's keep it real. He, he don't keep his dick in his pants. He's always cheating on her. Okay. So even if she was cheating on him, that's no excuse for him to knock out her two front teeth and to threaten to kill her father and her brother. This entire situation is disturbing. I hope that Emily B is somewhere safe and I hope she wakes up and stop running back to him. Realize that you're a mother of not only two boys, but a daughter and these children are watching your every move. Obviously, this man does not want to be with you. You guys have no chemistry whatsoever. He wants to be single. He wants to do him. At this point in time, you need to leave and go do you. You don't need to keep yourself in an abusive situation. You guys can possibly co-parent. But to tell you the truth, now that that video has leaked, I don't even know if he'll be able to see his sons. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? But I just feel like, you know, we need to stop making excuses for bullshit. I just feel like as women and even men, because there's men who get abused as well, we need to look at the big picture, okay? Stop fronting for the gram. Stop fronting for social media. You know what I'm saying? Realize that you are worthy. Realize that your life is worthy. And I don't care what type of material possessions you have. Nothing should be more than your life, your sanity, and your peace of mind. That's what you should always look forward to in life first and foremost. But unfortunately, you have a lot of young women and grown women who feel like, you know, as long as they're being taken care of, as long as they're getting that bag, it doesn't matter what he does to them. And that's not okay because this situation could have went really, really volatile really quickly. So I'm looking at Fabulous a whole new way. You know what I'm saying? I guess everything Ray J was saying a few years ago was true. And I guess Fabulous is really a fuckboy. Y'all remember this damn Ray J interview, honey, when he talked about getting them damn booty goons on Fabulous. Go ahead and check this out. Get Fab on the line right now. I'll smack the shit out that nigga. You, you know, can't smack him over the phone, Ray. But... on the phone that like niggas. And they gonna wake that nigga. Bring that nigga over and stick it in that nigga booth. All right, all right. All right, so you guys just heard that audio clip of Ray J wilding out. So I guess Ray J knew something that the rest of the world had no idea about, that Fabulous is not all what he puts out there for the world. He's not this quiet, demure man. He's an asshole, and he's very abusive behind the scenes. And that video just broke my heart to see that woman screaming like that. And, you know, to see, you know, you could just hear the hurt in her father's voice. when he's like, you're a coward. How could you do that to her? And you know what I'm saying? Imagine if somebody treated his own daughter, even though that's his stepdaughter. But I mean, imagine if somebody treated Emily's daughter like that. Would Fabulous like that? Imagine if somebody whooped his son's asses like that. Would Fabulous like that? But you're doing that to the mother of your children? I'm just disgusted by this entire situation. The fact that people are still making excuses and the fact that people are still defending him on social media is just really sad and re damn ridiculous, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation once again concerning Fabulous and Emily B. All right, deuces. <laughs>